very carefully understand one simple thing it is called troubleshooting you people are writing your scripts for first time right we will do small small things mistakes small mistakes only we will do but it will consume lot of time okay first two thing whenever you get somewhere where it is taking you lot of time means delete and write it back first completely delete it and write from scratch that saves you lot of time tip number 1 tip number 2 okay very carefully see what i'll do is i did some mistake even i don't know what is the mistake okay I created a client script. Now I am going here. I am trying to test it. Okay, I am doing it. Nothing is happening. Okay, so something is system is giving me something error. Even though I read this error, but I don't even care. That is wrong. Anything. Even in our mobiles also, if if you are doing something, if you get a message, means clearly read the message. Nowadays, because of these mobiles, we don't even focus even two seconds on one thing. Read the messages very carefully. Okay, what system is doing here is very carefully read this message. On change script error. Type error. G form get value is not the function it is clearly telling 100% it is telling the right word am i right yes sir v is small okay v is small i don't know what is get value that's what it is telling you simple i am not able to recognize what you are saying here get value i am not able to recognize this is what it is telling even when system is giving you 100% 100 exact match of message we don't read this one is that right am i right everyone right so yes, yes. okay so reading the message itself will give you 100% answer maximum it, you'll get the answer but you need to carefully read the message and start reading the messages something is popping up means it is giving you some information read it that saves you a lot of time generally people will do is what is I written it here I am testing it here I am when I am clicking it sir it's not working sir not working what to do what to do what to do I am ending I am ending I am ending that's it you ended there read it okay fine so now I read it like system is telling I don't know what is get value now I come here it should not be this it should be this good okay so I mean there is no compiler on this uh, particular uh, script no, no, no. to understand the syntax okay now third thing okay two, tip number two for tip number one what is the tip number one Stop it and then delete it and then create a new one. First thing, or else write from scratch. Second thing, read the messages very, very carefully and understand the things, understand the subject. Okay. Third thing, very carefully see. Right. Now you are here very carefully see this. You know this error, but when you try, you don't know this error. Okay. You came here. Right. Now you are trying here. What is happening? Oh. You are trying here. Else condition is working, but if condition is working, huh? Do you see if condition oh. is working? No. Okay. Oh, no. Put it in the way. Okay. So. Okay. So we are ended here. Now we seen one error, na? So if condition is not working, but else condition is working. Okay. So how to test it now? How to know whether this is wrong or right? Every time, every time. Okay. The simplest form of troubleshooting is put alerts. 
in client script the best way to identify your script is putting efforts okay putting alerts right i'm blind enough here so i know because i made the mistake here i know but generally if this is the case where i see this kind of function behavior what i will start with is first i will see whether the line number 5 is correct or not so i alert of sk i will put here okay then i will put one more if okay alert of inside if this is for my thing okay to understand where i am exactly am i passing correctly or not so alert of okay inside else means to understand at which line of code the code was executed correctly and where it is uh, breakdown to control yeah. the test control on half my script mm. correct okay now you see i refreshed it here okay so now first line get value of this one true so that means i selected here it is writing true so my value is correct so line number 5 is correct there then it is true means it condition na so i clicked here nothing happened it is going directly to else that means my condition which i written is wrong am i right am i right everyone yes sir yes sir yes sir so this is how we troubleshoot the things when you are stuck somewhere that time you need to use your brain don't blindly write and try to execute and waste a lot of time initially it will be like that only sir you are getting more fast because i i came from the same point where you belongs to at least you people are at least far better than me seriously if you are 90% maybe i was at maybe 10% right these things and all will slowly come but we need to use our brains here this is where we need to have sir i am a 1% <laughs> fine so this is where we need to use logical thinking here so there is a logic here okay now after seeing this you feel lot of control here yes if this line is true okay you will get to know here if the if this line is true you will get to know here okay if it is going inside means you get this one if it is not going inside means it is going this one so you are getting the fullest control or not here getting it or not yes yes sir yes okay now let's say here okay so see one more okay it should give one more error i don't know what is sk1 it will say but let me see what it is typing what is what it is telling you here read this line on change script error reference error sk1 is not defined function so yes native code. so sk1 is not defined function so in the script you are using something called sk1 but in the scope of the script what is sk1 yeah it's not defined no we have sk only we have only sk sk this particular from here to here okay system know what is sk because you defined it where sk equal to something you put the value but you didn't put it you didn't define a variable called sk1 then how system know you you are understanding now i will do what is very careful you see okay where sk1 equal to i am passing some value okay close me now do you see an error here do you see an error here now okay. if i execute this one you will get an error just check and tell, tell and just check and tell me no why no uh we are uh, enabling sk1 so sk1 is defined so now if i execute this one 
if condition true condition will work or else condition will work else condition will work now you are getting my everyone yes everyone yes but sk1 is defined with some text value it's not true or false then how it will work so it will go for else is sk1 equal to oh true? else does not mean only false yes. else means anything is roshni okay. equal to true yes no 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 sir no then else roshni is roshni here sk1 is oh. roshni roshni equal to true huh? okay okay then it will go for else no no Okay. So how much? So else does not mean if it's equal to false. Else just means anything, anything else. else. We didn't. We never said it's false. Right. Okay. Other than true, any other value. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. If it is false, also with that means to be defined, is that right? Yeah. If you want to specifically mm. see. this value only have two or false that's why we have only two but if it is more then you need mm -hmm. to define else if else if else if that is different case correct now are we understanding how logically we need to think now everything is logical correct then you are getting an error also right think little deeper and then read them understand them instead